Reserve falls to the lower bracket. Yeah. I'm setting up the scoreboard, sorry. Um, did I get that right? Hold on. Please line up. No, they're on opposite sides, the jerks. Why do they do this to me? Soya, please answer me. Why do they do it to me? I don't what know what you're referring to. I know, that's okay. I have to get the capitalization right on their names. Don't want to show any disrespect to them. K is capitalized, two L's and the R. Is that how it works? Yellow Zerg, Red Zerg. Oh, painful, but we got through it. All right. Welcome back, guys. This is round two of the IEM Gamescom Stage 3. The winner of this match will qualify for Gamescom to represent the Americas in Germany. Ding Tuskiller going for a 9 pool. He is spawning in your middle left hand location as the Yellow Zerk player. His opponent, Idra, from Team Evil Geniuses, is your Red Zerk player spawning in the middle right hand location. The question is, when is Idra going to make that pull? How long is he going to delay it? And are we going to see a 15 hatch? Well, we'll find out soon. Don't forget the overlay. Because of the three minute delay, that would be bad. Yeah, no, I, overlay's fine. We're good. Well, we'll have to see. Um, nine pull's a little bit different than a six or seven pull. Um, usually with a six pull, you can completely hold it off with just drones. Doesn't matter what kind of opener you do. If, But the later the pull, the more powerful it is against sure. the, the drones, because you'll be able to afford more lings. You'll have the overlord out in time. So we'll have to see. Uh, Major is going for the hatch first. Sixlings are in production. Hmm. And how much will Killer be willing to commit to this? How many more rounds of lings? How is many he drones is he gonna pull? That too, yeah. What is gonna trigger his reaction to pull a lot of drones? Because usually, I mean, sometimes players will pull a pull a drone to scout, and not only scout, but make a spine crawler. And with that scouting drone, you decide, okay, I'm gonna pull a lot of drones. And it looks like he's not pulling dr drones at this point in time. Sixlings on the way. Idra, does he see this? Yes, he does see the lings on the way. Canceled the hatch. Immediately canceling the hatch, and now he's going to have to rely on some micro. Checking the edge of his creep for spine crawlers. I like that a lot. Yeah, this is smart. Um, he should know by the timing that it's not a six pull. Um, now, Killer only built up to ten lings and started building drugs. He has Queen on the way, Overlord about to pop out. Idra is going to have to control these drones pretty well to be able to hold us off. This is a lot more lings than normal. Yeah. Question is, what does Killer target here? Does he go after drones? Does he target the spawning pool? It doesn't have a drone here for a spine kill. I'm really intrigued by that. I feel like that's almost essential at this point um, in the game. I mean, he's investing a lot into this aggression. Why not try to get a spine crawler down that you can cancel if it doesn't work? But nice little surround there from Idra onto those drones. Dignas Killer still up 21 to 19 in that supply count, but a lot of links getting killed very easily by Idra. So I'm not too against uh, how Idra's controlling this. 16 to 15 is the harvester count in favor of Idra. I think one more drone kill there from a killer, but it's just gonna be just fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Uh, like, uh, there's a whole thread on Liquid on Team Liquid that if you guys don't know it, go look it up. It talks about all the early pulls in ZBZ and it discusses how you can hold it off with just drones. It's it's fairly easy if you micro properly. Mm -hmm. um, don't even need leans of your own. But the queen popping out for Hydra, he is getting his uh, uh, gas taken as well as an expansion. Killer doing the same. Income tab shows 20 to 16. Now, killer. Having the extra injects is going to be able to get his harvester count just a little bit higher and then apply aggression sooner. The thing is, Killer does not have a gas. Yeah, uh, he doesn't, and Idra already has his on the way, but Killer had that supply, or the, the harvester lead, or has it at least, 21 to 17. It's a relatively big deal. I mean, the harvester tab is so important, especially in mirror matchups. Teeling's trying to get some scouting information done from Idra. Doesn't see much. Sees those two queens, though, so that might be a little bit disconcerting, considering uh, he only has one queen on the field, but a second one just now popping for Idra. Might lay down a creep tumor and then proceed to the natural expansion. Yep, that's exactly what he is doing. Gas is being mined for Idra. Now, we'll, how many gases will he? Uh, how many guys will he pull out of gas? Will he keep mining on three? Yeah. Will he go to two? Will he drop to one? How fast is he getting his bailing nest? Is he skipping the bailing nest and going for roaches? We'll all have to see. Now, Killer throwing down double gas immediately, knowing that he is behind. Wants to catch up in case Idra is going for a bailing bus. Needs to get his own bailing nest down in time and be able to defend. Yeah, keeping those guys on gas for now, even though he has that 100, uh, 100 gas. So this, this does imply he wants a relatively fast baneling nest. Um, and then the question is, how much does he invest into actual aggression? Because, you know, it, it's relatively standard to get that baneling nest on the ground, if, it, you know, if just for defensive purposes. You know, just make, you know, a couple lings, maybe four or five or uh, four or six or eight lings, and then just make, you know, two or three banelings, just be safe. And then, um, 
using the rest of your larva for exclusively drones. The idea being, okay, if my opponent goes for a lot of Ling Baneling aggression, all I really need are a few Banelings on the field to really fend that off, and decent micro. Um, so it's very risky to be aggressive in ZVZ with a lot of links and a lot of Banelings because if your opponent drones up and just makes a few Banelings, guess what? Your attack probably isn't going to be that cost effective and you're going to fall behind economically. So that's a really intriguing part of the early game of ZVZ. That being said though, we already see a Roach Horn on the way here from Killer and already going up to Lair. Idra going up to Lair as well and adding on two gases. So I feel like both these players are going to be playing relatively defensively, relatively passively and we aren't going to see too much crazy link aggression. It doesn't look like it, and when we see Idra throwing down additional gases, like you said, Killer doing the same thing, getting um, that Roach Horn down. I like that decision. Um, the quicker you transition the Roacher, the Roach is, the, the, the more stronger your mid game is going to be. Uh, Idra showing that he is getting plus one range attack, which means he's going to be, or I guess that's Killer, never mind, I'm getting the colors mixed up. Idra still not throwing down that Roach Horn. He might be going for a Ling Heavy style. Ling Infester has become really popular right now into Ultralisk. Hopefully, you can see that from him. It's still very unpopular outside of Korea. Uh, there are a little bit more uh, EU players that are starting to do it, but in North America, I don't see too many Zergs pulling off the Ling Infester style. They're still sticking to the Roach Infester and Roach Hydra. It's a lot of gas uh, being mined here from Idris, so it should, should be really intriguing to see what he puts down. I mean, he doesn't have a Roach Horn just yet. Not even an Evo Chamber, uh, interestingly enough. So it's going to be Spire, we're going to see Infestation Pit, we're going to find out very soon. And there's the Spire. Uh, from Idra. Nice placement there, but if a link can run by, it's not too hard to spot, so we'll have to keep an eye on what Killer does. Killer also adding on a third base of his own, and now it's going to be up to Killer to recognize, okay, my opponent is going Muta, and then making the correct decision. You know, it, sure, scouting Muta is one thing, but then appropriately reacting is another. How many infestation, how many infestations do you get out? Do you get out spore crawlers? Do you get an extra queen? Um, but as of right now, Killer has not yet recognized the fact that his opponent is going Spire. Did not see the gas at his opponent's uh, natural expansion. Saw the layer completed though. How did he see that? I must have missed. Oh, no, killer! Killer scouted everything. He saw did he everything. Did he see the spire? Oh yeah, yeah he saw the spire. Wow. He scouted everything. How, how did he see that? Oh, over here. Okay. Yeah. yeah he's in over here to the base. He's got a full standard. scout. Well, players taking faster. Um, relatively standard. Uh, killer going to be on Roach and Fester. Uh, Idra will be tech swapping two Roaches. He already has a Roach one on the way. And he's got plus one, plus one on the way. The problem is he's going to be committing a good amount of gas and minerals to the Spire tech. And if he can't do a decent amount of damage, Killer's going to have the advantage after the early mid game. He's going to have a better Roach composition. He's going to have more Festers out. So Idra has to play with these Mutalists properly. And Killer's upgrades are pretty decently ahead. I mean, for one, plus one uh, Missile Attacks is about to finish. And plus one missile attacks for Idra, it's only about 20% of the way done, so we'll have to see how that upgrade can uh, upgrade advantage continues throughout the game. Killer going directly for that third. If he can delay that, that's actually pretty darn huge. Seven meters are on the way. I don't think they're going to get out in time, and no, they're not. The drone going to cancel the production of that hatchery. And now Killer has his third on the ground. Idra doesn't, and Roach is pressing into the natural expansion. These meters going to get out. I need to get out, but how much damage can these Roaches do before they do? Lemulus are out there taking out the spine collar. Should be gunning for some queens right now. That would be huge. More wings reinforcing. A lot of wings coming up here. For Killer, he splits them up, sends some of the links into the middle line. Roaches in the main. Milos have to stay with the Roaches. Roaches are fighting, uh, taking out more drones. The Queen did fall, and as you can see, Milos don't do very well against Roaches. They're getting a good amount of damage, and Harvester kill tabs already up to 17. Yeah, um, this, this is interesting. I mean, the, the Roaches are definitely going to die, but the question is, did they pay for themselves? Supply shows 90 to 90, but income tab shows 50 to 40. And Killer, keep in mind, he has that third on the ground, has the Queen. Actually, has two Queens there for some reason. Um, probably we'll send one back to this macro hatch to inject those eventually. But uh, Idris going to try to counterattack with these mules. I saw a lot of spore crawlers in production though for Killer, so I think he should be fine trying to pick down some some rushes. Oh, nice oh. fungal there from Killer. I think these mules are dead. Maybe. Oh no, nice splitting there from Idris. Um, okay, no, the investor count's not too high right now. Yep. So as long as he just backs off. We find Idra reinforcing with roaches of his own upgrades. 0-0 zero, zero for Idra. 1-1 one, one is just about to finish. This will put him at the upgrade advantage over Killer's roaches. But maybe it, the Killer just has too much production. Idra's still only on two hatches. Chance to? Got a chance to? Oh, actually, Idra not targeting down uh, the Queen with the more transfuse energy available. And it's gonna, it's gonna pay for it. Only two mutas left, but Idra charging across the field here with a lot of roaches here. Does Killer have enough to fend this off? And we do have some Infestors here, they don't have a terrible amount of energy. Throwing down some Infested Terrans, Killer desperately trying to get some Roaches on the field to deal with this counter-aggression from Idra. But keep in mind, Idra, he's on two base. He's investing a lot into this. If Killer can hold, I feel like he's going to be in a great position. Yeah, all Killer has to do is hold, or at least not take too much damage. Idra, like you said, on two bases. 
He still has the upgrade advantage. One, one to one. Oh, gunning for this investor is so smart. Drones are forced to be killed. Bro. This puts the harvester count forty to forty-seven, and it's still going down. Idra looking like he's going to be able to at least deny this third base. Absolutely. He is sending reinforcements constantly across the map. That's going to help as well. And this is looking really bad for Killer. He needs to throw down some spines at his natural base. 26 roaches to 3 in favor of Idra. His macro is out of control at the moment, sending more and more units across the map. Does, get, does Killer have a response here? Trying to get roaches on the field, but Idra just has so much. Again, he is 1-1, one, one, plus 2 weapons is about to finish for Killer, but not in time as Idra charges into the natural expansion. Killer forced to pull some drones here. Mutas are still in the air, being annoying, taking down some overlords. And Idra is going to win this game. GG from Killer. Idra. He's going to take the 1-0 advantage going into game 2 of this best of 5. Um, as a Zerg player, you always have to be wary of that whenever you do some super aggressive push like that. You see it a lot in Ling Bane Ling. Someone will do Ling Bane Ling aggression. They'll do a good amount of damage. They'll kill a handful of drones, and then they'll die to the counterattack. You always have to be prepared for that. He was prepared for the Muta counterattack. He had the Infestors out. He had the uh, Spore Callers down. But he wasn't prepared for the Mass Roaches. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be cautious of that. I mean... You know, I feel like once you kill that third, you should automatically put down spines because you know you know your opponent is be like, okay, I can't just I can't stay behind this long. Uh, by the way, join off me. Um, so you gotta think, what are the options of the of the, the player whose whose third was killed? You know, it's gonna be counterattack. Um, by the way, shout out to Benoit, Michael Murray, Lenaver, G Delmar and Josh Ortiz. They are men among men. Because they followed me on Twitter. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I was like, what are these guys? You know, the main guys behind I am? Like, no, what, are they the ones in the qualifiers? Like, they're so <laughs> awesome. No, man, they're just people who followed you on Twitter. <laughs> well, let's get started. <laughs> Uh, Game two of this best of five series spawning in the top right hand corner as the red zerg map is daybreak mm -hmm. from team evil geniuses We have Idra And his opponent in the bottom left hand corner of the map as the yellow zerg from team Dignitas We have killer Very interesting last game. Um, I really really like watching ZBZ. Uh, Idra going for the really fast mutas Didn't necessarily have a lot of ground defenses But it's interesting. Okay. What do you think would have happened if it's weird because Killer scouted the Spire play with his Overseer. So Idra, like, he had transition on his mind, like, immediately, right when that was scouted. Because you can't really... Well, yeah, he already started plus one, plus one. Exactly. Like, before Spire was even done, yeah. He was not really wanting to commit to that. The problem was Killer invested a lot to go to the late mid-game. He had a third base as well as a macro hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had no money left over to actually build units. Idra had just cancelled his third, only built seven mutalists, and he's still on two bases. So that's an extra 600 minerals that he had just lying around. He was able to overwhelm his opponent. Um, the Infestors used all their energy on the mutalists, did even kill them off. So uh, it was just um, maybe be Killer being a little too greedy? Or just not, yeah, just, I guess that's it. He's just a little too greedy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it feels like pretty much in every matchup, this might be the case where. If you deny an expansion from your opponent, look out for the counter aggression. Because if they try to retake that base, they're like, and you already have that base up and running, and, and then then like they're admitting that they're going to go into the later game behind. So you know, a strong reaction from many players is, okay, my third is denied. I have to counter right now, and ha I have to do a lot of damage. And that's exactly what Idra did. Um, so I'm a little bit intrigued, Idra, uh, killer didn't try to throw down more static defenses as soon as he killed that third. I feel like that'd be a strong reaction. I don't know if you agree. Um, I agree I agree completely. Okay. Uh, Counter-aggression, we see it a lot in Ling mainly. Counter-aggression is what Zergs lose to a lot. They do a lot of damage and they're going to think their opponent's like, oh, let me try and catch up on drones. No. They're going to come kill you. Yeah. Did you Did you see the income tapping in there? How many drones did Idra have? He had 40. Okay. I don't... Yeah. Cause he, so he was definitely all in with that with that two base well, stuff. Well, what what he was doing when he was building this fire and the plus one plus one is he was droning like a madman. He yeah. was over like it's sixty something drones. Like he was already at his optimal drone count for the entire game. Yeah. That's all why right. he took so much damage. He was being so greedy with drones. Yeah, and I mean, once the mutas got up, 
he could kill the roaches, but Killer was able to do a lot of good damage with, with his roaches. And again, when you're able to do that much damage, you gotta be like, alright, my the only way I can lose this is my opponent counters right now, and you gotta prepare for that. Um, but similar builds from both these players. Like, they haven't built their spawning pools yet, I don't think. Oh, no, they, yeah, they have derp. What am I thinking? My mind is off today. Um, both yes. these players open the exact same. Yeah, they, they open the exact same. Hatch first. What, what were the pool two. timings? I didn't see that. Uh, 16 it? pulls. It was, it was 15 hatch, 16 pulls, 16 gases from both of them. Okay. Exact same timings yeah, from... I was, thinking uh, we were, I was thinking we were two minutes ago. Stream is delayed by three minutes. Unfortunately. So, if we you want to be... to preserve the tournament, we can't. If you want to be acknowledged in the chat, you're not going to hear it until three minutes from now. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you want to be acknowledged, just follow Axel on Twitter. He's a sellout like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Banely Nest here from Idra. Same, Still leaving guys same in. strat as last game. Killer doing the same with the three, leaving three guys in gas, Start but speed. no Banely Nest Wait. just yet. Is he's he... already up to 116. Yeah. Now. The Banely Nest timing would be a long time ago if he was going for Might that. Might see a fast lair okay, from there. Okay, there it is. No, 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 there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's a little bit late. Making a lot of lings, though. Um, yep. And Idra putting down a spine crawler. So this makes me think he wants to play a little bit passively, getting out, getting down that bailing list, but I feel like, okay, this is just a passive bailing list. This is a defensive bailing list. Again, we talked about it last game. Ooh, yep. a very fast layer from Idra again. That's exactly what, showing the layer is exactly what it is. He wants to just be defensive with these bailings. Yep. Um, Idra gets two lings into the main. Sees how many oh. lings Pippa has that is a huge scout. Did he see the bailing nest? No, he didn't. He did not see the bailing nest, but he saw how he many lings. He should be able to guess, I think. Yeah. Um, so he's, gonna, he's building ten lings of his own. He's already got bailings on the way. Um, and it's not too hard to hold this off anymore. He might even pull his queen from the main down. He's already got two spine colors. As long as he trades bailings properly, it just should be fine. I know. I think. I think. Um, you know. I think that was a great, a great scout there for Idra. Now, Killer could take advantage of this and be like, okay, he thinks I'm going to go really super crazy with the with the aggression. You know, I'm just going to drone a bunch to get my lair. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. See how that develops. Killer at 54 to 44 supply. Idra trying to get some key shots off with the banelings. Banelings coming forward here from Idra. Two banelings coming forward from Idra. And Killer going to split up nicely. Oh, the banelings just running right by each other. And now Killer going to peel off one ling at a time. That's going to be a little bit frustrating. Idra trying to find something to explode into with those banelings. But it's just going to be really annoying with, with, his, with his stuff. Oh, oh, oh gets one of the banelings. That was a good trade for Idra. Two banelings in the ling, anything you got there? But Idra going Spire, again. Idra yeah, going Spire, his lair is finished. Lair for Killer is about to finish as well. Will we be seeing the Spire from him? He is on four gases, and yep, we will be seeing the Spire from Killer. Mito versus Mito action doesn't happen too often anymore. And see how the meta has developed currently with that. Idra has more gas. His, his Spire is up a little bit earlier. It should be intriguing to see, okay, who's going to scout each other? You know, typically, ooh, not too many crazy bailing hits going on. Um, but typically, you know, the timing for scouting is, of course, when that layer completes, you make an overseer and you see what your opponent has. Both these players could do that right now. They both have layers, they both have overloads relatively close to their opponent's main base. We could definitely see overseers being morphed and some scouting done, but neither player doing that just yet. And Killer going for a very fast third, it just sees this with his overload, he's going to send some lings over there to try to deny that. But, keep in mind, Killer has that Bailing S, he can make some Banelings and hold this- Oh my god, very close to a crazy Bailing hit there. Um, that Bailing is looking for blood, Idra going to take that down with uh, lings of his own. Killer really trying to protect this third. And I think he should be able to. He's going to try a nice... Oh, Bailing does get a good connect there. Well, Idris get a connect as well. A lot of wings here for Killer reinforcing. Don't think Idris is going to be able to take out this third. He does have Bailing that is more unmorphing in. One of them is going to get cancelled. The other one should be able to finish. Only trades for two, though. Yep. Idris has eight Mutalisk on the way. Hmm. Taking a third of his own. Killer's fire just now finishing. Hmm. Well, are we seeing any upgrades from these guys? Nope. Both are just committing to eight. However, neither of them have thrown down evolution chambers. Yeah, that's the thing. Neither of them have thrown down a roach horn, so I'm thinking they're both going to be committing this. And then we're going to see Carapace upgrade here from Idra. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I, I like Killer's position here. He did hit, he did get his third a little bit faster than his opponent. His harvesters tab is 51 to 42. Um, you know the mutas are coming in later, but you have to consider the rush distance. The mutas still have to run all the way across the map. That's exactly what they're doing, running straight to the third, but here come the mutas from Killer. And Idra is now the one on the run, so uh, Killer definitely handling this quite nicely. Going to be able to protect, protect this third for now. Taking down this overload, taking his gases immediately at his third as well. And we're seeing a flyer attack upgrade here from Killer, so he really wants to invest a lot into this mutas play. 
Yes, um, both players are probably going to be doing that. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on what upgrades they do. Uh, you only ever want to get one carapace upgrade. You never want to get more than that, the way the bounces work. It, the last shot when you have one carapace well, against your Mulisk will do no damage. And if you get anything more than that, it just doesn't really help you at all for the last last volley. So we'll have to, hopefully, Idra goes for more upgrades for the attack. First evolution chamber is going down for both players. They're both on three bases. Killer going for the fast Mac or Hatchigan. Did Idra do the same? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, now is this a map where you can take a fourth and just call it your macro hatch? You know, just for just for later, I guess. Something to consider. But both these players are staying relatively low econ. I feel like Isra is only at four, or only at forty-five harvesters. Killer is at sixty-four, and both these players are still investing so much in mutas. Who's going to be the first one to transition into infestors? Uh, into changing it up because you know once Killer. you get infestors on the field. Oh yeah, there we see the infestation bit. But yeah, once you get infestors on the field, mutas are going to be obviously a little bit less effective. You have to be really cautious of how effectively you're, you're, you're splitting those up. And I feel like the first person to transition is definitely going to be in a, in a favorable situation. Well, we'll have to see. Engagement going on here at the third base for Idra. Idra overwhelming killer just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he has carapace tab, and his opponent did 15. Yeah, he has the upgrades. He's up on Mutalisk, forcing killer to back off. Supply in favor of killer, though. Yep. Look at that income tab. It's 41 to 62. Idra very low on drones right now. Yep, he is. Um... He is. Like, he's not even mining from his third his third mineral line. Because he just transferred some drones somewhere. Or he lost a lot of drones, but... Uh, Itch gonna try to engage his third base, but again, he's playing this solo econ. Like, all these units are so important for him. For him. Killer gonna turn around and engage this needlest army from Idra, and Killer all of a sudden had 112 to 92 in that supply. Uh, it's plus one upgrades to plus one carapace. Plus one weapons to plus one carapace. And it looks like Idra should come out on top here, but... Or maybe not. He's gonna back away. I felt like he could've taken that. Yeah, but I guess he, if a queen he definitely had out, more needlest. Yeah. Um, Idra is still producing Mulus. Killer doing the same, even though he got his evolution or his um, infestation pit. Approach or an infestation pit. He's not ready to swap just yet. He's getting carapace of his own. Idra has not started upgrades. Ooh, Ling's getting to the main base of Idra. Uh -oh. Be able to snipe a couple of drones, get that queen. If we look at the income tab, Idra can't be affording to do that. No, He's no. only on 42 drones. Yeah, he can't. He can't lose any drones right now. Um, he does not want to spend any time remaking those, but it looks like. Unfortunately for him, he's going to have to. Killer now up 109 to 96 supply, 62 to 41 in that harvester count. And we do see pathogen glands on the way from Killer. So we're going to see some investors in production fairly soon. The question is, can he take Idra off guard with that? Has Idra scouted that transition? Uh, I don't think he has. Where's Idra he catching more lings going to his third base. No fourth base from both players just yet. Idra flying into the main base. He has plenty of Mulesk here. The first investors are on the way, but he should be able to take out this spork. Oh, he's got plenty of Mulesk. But with the reinforcing Mulesk of Killer, he is forced to back off. Mita count, what is it currently? 23 to 14. Has he seen the infestation? No, he with the Roach Warren, he kind of has to have an idea of what's going on. Sure. Um, no, he can't know 100%. I mean, the four infestors just popped, and now Killer is just like hoping, okay, can I trap my opponent? Can I get Idra in an awkward position where I can fungal his entire Muta flock and then just sweep him up? Because if Idra loses all these Mutas... I think the game might be over. Um, again, he's still investing so much into that Muta play. No, no, he's coming forward into the main base of Killer. Where are the investors? Oh, they're not here. Where are the investors? I know they're on the field. I know they're on the field, Zoya. I know they're here somewhere on the field. That's a natural base. Oh, Idra almost got that Roach Warren. Oh, he's going to get them. Let's see if he can get those Mutas. Mutas going to the natural. The investors. You really want a fungal. Dude, though, right? there's nothing more epic than a flock of Mutas being fungal. Well, Idra has to be careful. I, did he just see the did infestation? He, see okay, he knows, yes. He knows now. He oh. saw the infestation pit. So he has to be very careful with his Mutalus. But if you're but here, it's the fungal. Oh, the fungal goes onto the Mutas. And now a killer sweeping in here. More fungals going down onto those Mutas from Idra. Idra not splitting as optimally as he could have and could buy every single Muta. He is lost. Okay, he's just going to leave. Yeah. He's, he's just going to... It, it, gonna was, it was very game over. When you get those Mulesk caught, very game over. Very game over. Um, I, I want to bring up this. I think ignoring the whole Idra's Mulesk getting fungled, he had no drones. He was not yep. droning for a very long time. He was down 20 drones almost the entire game. Yep. So if we don't count that as the moment where Idra lost, it would have came eventually where he just couldn't afford to be playing in the game to anymore. Keep he up. had no. He, I mean, yeah. how do you keep up? Um, you know, uh, Keller did a great job handling everything Idra threw at him, because when you're down that far in drones, you have to get something done. You absolutely have to get something done to try to eat it, to even it up. Join up me, though, by the way. Okay. Um, big shout-out to these players, by the way. Playing very well.
You can follow these two players on Twitter. Join up. Uh, I'm joining, I'm joining. You can follow Dignitas Killer at Dignitas Killer. You can follow Idra at Idrajit. Both of them very good. Don't follow Axel Toss because he's rude and ugly. Shout out to Bear Stud. I hate you. Hey man. Anyone who follows me at Zoya Starcraft gets ten shout outs. Also follow these players, uh Idra and Killer on Twitter. I'm sure. I already we'll... said that. I already said that. I know, but I'm just reminding the chat to link them because I don't know their Twitters off the top of my head. If you can link them in the I chat. Just, I just named them. Dignitas Killer and Did Idrid. you type them in the chat? We're three minutes delay. They're not going to know what I'm talking about. You can still do it and then they'll be like, oh, so that's why you wrote that in the chat. Someone else can write it in the chat. We have we have great viewers. You know that? It's, Our just, viewers it, it's are... a lot easier to link it in the chat. People are more inclined to click on it and actually do it. Why are people still talking about mustard? That was yesterday. Yeah, that, we're that almost is long for, gone. What, what are you going to do at 3,000 viewers? If we get 3,000 viewers, I'm not. We're not going down that path today. Will you put your webcam on and wear underwear on your head? No. 3,000 viewers? No. I'm not doing anything of the sort. Spawning in the top left hand corner of the map as the Red Zerg. Losing last game. Will he be able to bring it to 2 1? It is Evil Geniuses Idra. Twitter.com slash Idrajit. Idrajit. That's his Twitter. And his opponent in the bottom right-hand corner of the map as the yellow Zerg. He's nine pulling. He's nine pulling again. From Team Dignitas, we have Killer. Follow him at twitter.com slash Dignitas Killer. Dignitas Killer. All right, I have to adjust the scoreboard. Yeah, you do. Because it's currently 1-1, one, one, not 1-0. One, oh. I'm, I'm too lazy to... I know, it is 1-0. Oh. Ooh, I got to put the overlay on. Give, give our boy Felipe some love. Everyone's going to shout about the overlay. Oh my god. They're not gonna sh they're, see look if you look at the chat right now there's they're not shouting about it because it happens hasn't happened yet, but they're gonna be shouting about it. Last game I said I know, leave me alone. I, and you said no, I got this. What did you do? You forgot. I was distracted by the overlay. The chat, uh, the scoreboard. If, chat, if Axel forgets the overlay one more time, we're gonna oh make him god. eat something disgusting again. No, my stomach still hurts from yesterday. I believe you did that. that if you wanna cool. re experience that, just go watch the VOD. Don't make me do it again. Again, Idra is going for a hatch first. Um, no Ooh. pull just yet from Idra. <gasps> He's going up to 16 drones? He's going up to 17 drones, or 16 drones, yeah. Um, hopefully he doesn't go any higher. The Lings are on the way. They might be able to avoid this Overlord oh, for a gas while. Oh, too. <gasps> oh, he's going gas first. Remember, you can hold off these Lings with just drones if you micro properly. The Lings do walk right underneath the Overlord. Idra should be canceling the, the hatchery. hatchery. Maybe. Oh, he's... Did he not see it? Okay, he canceled his gas, so he had to have seen it. Maybe he wants to keep up. Oh, he does cancel the, the the hatch. Okay, so he does know. Needs to get an overlord in production. He does have one. Pull a little more than halfway done. Hmm. I'm really concerned. Killer never brings a drone with this, and I don't know why. Can you explain that? It's it's, it's not a six pull. Well, six still, and seven pulls, you bring drones. You still bring No, no, just one drone for a spine crawler. You could, but it's. I want to see. Not the best way to do it. Oh, nice wraparound from Idra, getting a huge round on these lings, and that went amazing for Idra. He only lost two drones in the trade, keeping him at 16 to 13. He's still building drones. Uh, I mean, like we discussed, go to that team liquid thread. But like, think like, because if you build a spine crawler and then just use these lings to not guard the spine crawler, right? Eh. Uh, That's not what I would do. I don't know. Oh, the nine pull, because nine pull is more of a like I want to transition all in. Like it's like I want to apply early pressure and then transition. Sure. Like with a six and seven pull, yeah, it you both seems so weak to me. I mean, gosh. Yeah, I don't know. you're not supposed to do early pulls in DBZ. Okay. Like I said, go check out Guys, that team. Guys, everyone watching, Zoya says you're not supposed to do early pulls in DBZ. What? What? It's. I, what? What? Are you mad at me? What are you? No, I'm not mad at you. Okay. Also follow Axel Toss at Liquid Red. Stop. But to stop getting joke players. ideas from the chat. Income tab, 17 to 17. Even though the chat is three minutes ago. Yeah, income, that's important. Even. Late. Gas timing? How close are we? Okay, killer getting the gas, his opponent not. Yeah, Idra not getting gas. He does see the double queen, he sees the hatcher. He has to have an idea of what Idra's going, or killer's going, excuse uh -huh, me. Uh -huh. The only thing he doesn't know is the gas. Look, they're shouting what... about the overlay, look in the chat. Ah, <sighs> you're such a noob. <laughs> such a failure, such a failure. Still no gas from Idra. This is really greedy. He's actually floating 400 minerals right now. I do not know what Idra's plan is. He really wants to get these injects on his next on his uh, macro or his second base. 
really badly. His hatch is going to be finishing before his opponent's. Would really like to see a gas sometime soon. If not, I don't know how... Maybe he's going for a roach style. Maybe he's not really wanting to speed in the bailing nest. We'll have to see what his plan is. Are sorry. you typing that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, sorry, I was just talking <laughs> in the chat. It's pretty funny. Uh, you're such a such a dork. <laughs> such a dork. Um, Adria getting double gas now, realizing how late his gas is. It's always, if you're going to do a delayed gas, might as well get a fast double gas. Killer first starting his speed, um, leaving three guys in gas, so we'll be following up with Bangley's income tab shows 36 to 27. Killer droning like a madman. The, the one benefit of having the earlier pull yeah, is you get the earlier me. queens. With the earlier queens, you get faster injects. When the injects come, you have an extra larva for more drones. That's why you get ahead faster with the harvester count. Now, here's what I'm wondering. I mean, obviously, this is the best of five. This is the third game. Um, and they're tied one to one. So, you know, Idra in these first two games is playing very passively. Getting a spine crawler, getting very fast, later going for very fast mutas. Can Dignitas Killer take this information and be like, okay, he's gonna play passively. I'm not even gonna build a spine. I'm just gonna drone up insanely uh, and get a get a nice economic lead. That being said, though, he's making 26 lings in a, in a Bailey Mist. But yeah. before that, he just really pumped those drones. Yeah, his speed is much quicker than Idris. I believe it's what, like 60 seconds faster? So uh, Idris is going to have a long time without Zergling speed. His Baneling Nest just now being started. This aggression, I mean, Idris is going to have to pull a queen down here. Um, he has got the links moving across the map. This is going to be scary. His Baneling Nest is still several seconds off. He's going to have to put on an extra Spine Collar in the main. He is starting his lair. Hmm. So if he holds, he will be ahead on that, but. There are drones behind this for killers. So oh, he didn't pull his queen. Can't pull his queen quick enough. Can't get the wall off. Down that one queen will fall in the air. Caught off guard. Um, oh, caught very off. Guard. Caught off guard by that wing bailing aggression. Very nice play there from Killer, as they put the overlay up. We are live. The three minute stream delay. Mm -hmm. Three minute stream delay. So if you tell me stuff in the chat, again, it happened three minutes ago, guys. There's no point. Ten shout outs to Michael Murray and Chris Lee. No. Shout out to Locus Mulan. Locus Mulan, that's a cool name. Why isn't he following me? Because, I don't know. Uh, join off me, by the way, sir. These two casters need to get married. Join, I join, agree. join, join off me. Don't make them wait, yo. Alright. All right, here we go. The countdown has begun as I pull the overlay off. And y'all can see the countdown, so you know it's live. Like, we're in the lobby right now. Every Why is everyone so confused about the stream delay? I don't understand. Because we're getting more people every second. Right. New people are coming in. It's not the same people saying it over and over. You're right. Maybe it should be uh, placed in the Reddit thread. By the way, guys, go upvote the thread on Reddit. I'm Don't breaking, forget the overlay. I'm breaking Reddit. I'm breaking Reddit by saying that. Don't forget the overlay. The overlay's down. All right. So spawning in the left-hand side of Metropolis, we have the Red Zerg from Team Evil Geniuses. Currently down one two. Will he be able to bring it back? It is Idra. Follow him at Idrid on Twitter. Who's in the the middle right there, Zoya? In the middle right, we have the red or yellow Zerg from Team Dignitas. Probably up one, two, up two, one. Will he be able to take this series right now and qualify for IEM GamesCon? Oh, I have we the have scoreboard wrong. Sorry, go ahead. Dignitas killer. I had the scoreboard wrong. Yeah, the scoreboard wrong. Bad. Are they gonna yeah, shout Dignitas at me again? Okay, here's the thing. In the chat, you have to predict when I'm gonna screw something up and shout at me three minutes beforehand, so that you're shouting at me when it happens. They don't know when the game's gonna end though. Dignitas Killer, you can follow him on Twitter at Dignitas Killer. Liquid Red. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna no, say you're Liquid Red. You're at Liquid Red. No, I gotta promote these players properly. Okay. Well, kudos to you. We see no crazy early pull from both these players. I, uh, I wonder if that has to do with the map. Maybe. Such a long resistance. Yes, it is. So long. Is this version of the map Force Cross? I don't think so. No, I don't believe so. I don't believe Both so. Both players are going for a hatch first. Rocks on the islands. 2,000 In HP. Income tab, 14 to 14. Yep. Someone asked me what my favorite fruit was. 
I've been spending the last two minutes trying to think of it. The Master Hater, who is currently my favorite player person in chat, he, he's he's very funny. Um, he he says that we are fruit dealer and liquid red. No, he said he said he didn't like Pokemon or something, didn't he? Yeah, but Earlier? that guy was he was silly back then. I, I'm, oh, going, okay. I'm referring to the, what he's currently saying. Which one of us is fruit dealer and which one's liquid red? Which one is still the macro god and which one was a god of the past? Who us? Yeah, he said we're fruit dealer and liquid red. Which one's liquid red and which one's fruit dealer? Dude, can I be red? Red is awesome. Because then I get not, all those followers on Twitter. You're is. not handsome enough. That's true. That's no, kind of mean, guess, dude. Why are you? Being I so want mean? a GSL champion, so I'll be I'll be fruit dealer. Okay, that's fine. Uh, anyway, spawning pull already done for Idrik, getting that a little bit earlier than his opponent. Killer delaying that a bit in favor of the Jones, I would imagine. But they're kind of even in harvesters. Gas just not going out for Idris, so there's the difference. Killer uh, has that saturated and already approaching 50. So he will have 100 relatively soon. Pretty decent distance ahead of his opponent. Do you think he's going to try to utilize some sort of timing where, uh, you know, he could potentially have speed a lot earlier than his opponent like we saw last game? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, I, I think it might be just be a, a speed link timing. We might not even see bailing. So oh, actually he's keeping all three guys in gas. So it, it should be the same thing from last time. Uh, will Idra be prepared? I mean, he is got he does have gas this time a lot earlier than last game, and this rush issues like we just talked about is very long. Mm -hmm. So even though his gas his speed's gonna be delayed, he should have bailings out just in time if he gets a scout of this. Mm. Oh, state three one Suppy Suppy has been eliminated. Dude, chat read that three minutes ago. You realize that, right? I was telling you that. I read it in the chat. I hate you. Bailey Ness going down four killers, still building drones, zergling speed, halfway done. Finally adding on some wings. Idra throwing down that spine crawler, showing that he wants to be defensive, wants to be passive. Hopefully he does get his zergling speed and bailing Ness though relatively soon. Yeah. Because yeah. this aggression from killer is gonna be is gonna be tough to hold off. So do you think so killer, do you, killer's actually killer? mixing in some drones here? Um I don't know how aggressive he's gonna be with his bailing ness, if it's defensive or not. We'll have to watch the next couple injects. How many, um, how many uh, um, drones. Yeah. He, drones he makes? You could still do a follow-up progression. We got two injects just about to pop, and Killer going for a spine collar of his own. So, why well, just be, see a passive game here? I agree. I, I'm hearing a I little mean, bit of feedback. I don't know. I hear my own voice a little bit. Not sure what that's about. But we'll walk away. Does it help? Test one, Test two. two. I can still hear myself a little bit. I don't know what this. Is. Test. Test. Yep, yep. I can have a conversation with myself if I wanted to. That'd be very confusing and difficult. Anyway, Baneling Nest. Oh, okay, it's better. Good job. Uh, Baneling Nest halfway complete here for Idra, going up to Lair. At the same time, we see a Lair about 40% of the way done for Killer. And we have a Roach Warren down for Killer as well. So it looks like we're not going to see any scary fast tech from Killer unless the Roach Warren is just for safety. I mean, he's getting gases at his natural expansion. So, let's see what happens. Uh, Lings are actually running by into the main base of Idra from Killer, seeing the, the layer timing. Going to see the Rochorn and the Bane Nest from his opponent. So pretty much knows everything that's going on. Can yeah, probably beautiful count scout. the drones too a little bit. Beautiful scout. They can both still be committed to Roaches. Oh, uh, the four gas is... I'd rather see four gas with double Evo Chamber. But both of them throwing down that plus one attack at the exact same time. Rochorn just about to finish for Idra. Curious as to why Killer's still make, uh, making a couple banlings for defensive. He knows that his opponent is on roaches. Uh, I think it's fine. I mean, always having that safety. Like, leave, leave a baneling in each mineral yeah, line. Yeah, that's true. In case Ling there's a or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then there's the infestation pit from Idra very quickly. You know, it's just been a hit on drones. You know, a good amount of this game. Definitely able to sneak in a few more drones than his opponent. Running some links by into the main base, trying to scout once again. Sees the layer complete, doesn't see any additional attack, only sees the Roachhorn and the Baneling Nest. Doesn't see the Infestation Pit, so might know that he might have his Infestation Pit well before his opponent. And he will. Uh, Killer does not yet have that Infestation Pit on the ground, instead of going for the faster third. The timing of Idris' third, though, is about the same. So both these players are getting their third at around the same time. The only difference here is Idris is going to have the faster Infestation Pit. Pathogen Glands already on the way. Um, and I don't really think Killer has a timing here where he can exploit the fact that his opponent has a relatively weak ground army and doesn't have Infestors on the ground just yet. What's the Roach count right now? It's currently... yeah. It's still in favor of Killer just slightly. His um, Roach Warren finished just a little bit quicker. We need Infestors starting uh, right now for Idra. 
Yeah, he needs to get those out right away. It depends on how aggressive Killer is wanting to actually be with these roaches. Let's see, man. Both players do have their third bases started. They're going to be finishing relatively the same time, so Idra won't be able to cancel this if the aggression is too powerful. Plus one, plus one, just about to finish. Roach speed finishing for Idra as well. Killer making so many roaches. I haven't seen a drone in that production tab in a very long time. Killer wants to get a lot of damage done. Probably going to try to deny this third, but now we have those three infestors on the way here from Idra, some roaches on the way for him as well. Um, the question is, can he get himself into a position where he can deny this, uh, this aggression? Look at that. Already has some roaches in position, so... Killer gonna back away for now, but he's not done. By any means. No, and we have the first three investors popping out for Idra. One of them is actually popping out at this base down here, so we'll be able to get a funnel quickly. He does have the better uh, concave, but it, uh, Killer just has too much. He has to get these fungal growths off to help out this engagement. First Infestor should be entering the fight very soon. Ah, uh, he needs it. Where is it? Ah, uh, there they are, coming from the natural expansion. One at and the third. third. Oh, losing one. It's not too fun at all, but Killer doing a lot of damage oh, with these Oh, no. Reinforcements catching oh, two of these Infestors no. from Idra. And this is looking extremely bad for him. Idra has 11 more roaches about to pop out, but losing those Infestors, he is no more on the field. It looks like Killer is just going to be able to muscle his way through yeah. here. Still nothing but roaches on the way for Killer, and it's been that way for a very long time. Uh, if you look at the mini-map, nothing but yellow streaming across the map. Idrid scrambling, trying to get roaches out on the field of his own. Upgrade show, we have plus one weapons uh, for Killer researched, and actually same upgrades for both these two players, but uh, Idra not able to be as cost-efficient as he needed to be with those investors. You know, they came out a little bit too late. Yeah, it's just, it's looking like this will be a 3-1 victory for Killer. Uh, I don't know how Idra is going to hold us off without any more investors coming out just yet. Does the yellow stream across the map remind you of Mustard? Be funny. <laughs> Killer up 117 to 101 supply. Uh, nothing much Idra can do here, but fortunate for him, he's still in this tournament. This is a double elimination bracket, an eight man tournament, so um, you know he's going to drop to the lower bracket. I think he will only have to win one best of five in the lower bracket. Obviously, he wants to do it here, but it looks like Nick Toss Killer is way too strong. Idra scrambling, trying to get more and more roaches on the field, but Killer just relentless with this aggression oh. on top of his injects. He has supply block though, so this might leave an opening for no, too many roaches. Oh, Killer going to advance to um, the top four, which means he is done for the day. He doesn't have to play any more games. He qualifies for IM Gamescon in Cologne, Germany. Huge win for Killer. Is there history between these guys? Did I don't I miss know. Something? I don't know. Was he saying that to me? You like the cha cha? Huh? Why was Why was he saying it to you? I don't know. Because I I asked he. Because I'm a, like the streamer, he doesn't like not having stream delays. Shout out to Jonas Nelson, Jason N, Ken, and Matt Macedo. Of course, he's not talking to you, nerd. Or following me on Twitter.